Good afternoon. Thanks for tuning in to Dear Cyber Sue. Today's topic is dealing with your partner's affair with your best friend. Well, cheating is horrible to deal with any relationship, but when it's with your best friend, it's the worst form of betrayal. How do you learn to trust again when the two people you love the most in this world went behind your back and did this to you? How do you ever get over something like this? Some people never do. Some people grieve about this for many, many years because of the pain level that it causes. When you give to your partner and you love them and you trust your best friend and you're spending time with both of them, you don't even for a moment want to think this could be a situation that comes into your life and betrays everything in your being. You're sitting here saying to yourself, am I that naive? Did I not see this coming? What is wrong with me that I didn't picture what was going on? How could I miss this? The problem with finding out something like this is it not only causes a deep, deep scar within you as a person and the fact that now you've lost your best friend and, and your partner, it also makes you question others around you, the other friendships maybe that you have together in a group. Because somebody must have known something, somebody must have seen something. For two people to be able to hide to the degree of having a full-fledged affair, there had to have been something that was a giveaway here. Now, sometimes we trust so hard with our hearts that we block out things too. Sometimes we don't see the little messages and the little signs. But sometimes that happens within your own home and has nothing to do with your best friend. It could be that your partner has changed jobs. All of a sudden they're looking different. Their appearance has changed. Maybe they're working out more. They're doing different things. You're not seeing them quite as often but they're still being good to you in a lot of other ways. So it's not quite as obvious when they're still attentive to you. But if you're not spending time with your partner and all these changes have taken place, you really have to start paying closer attention to your partner in your home. Because these are things that a lot of us don't see because they're subtle changes sometimes. But when they're a big change, like I said, a career or body, changes, things like that, there's something going on. And if they're not talking about it, they're just doing it and you're just accepting and understanding that's who they are and that's where they're evolving to. Well, that's great, but you have to sit down and talk to them about things because sometimes these changes are not working with you two as a couple because it's pulling you in different directions. And in a relationship, you want to go the same way. And this is where a lot of times we don't see that there was a bit of this going on until we have this situation that we have to deal with, like an affair, a divorce, anything like that. So this is why it's so important to pay very close attention to the changes that are going on at home. Unfortunately, this happens way more often than it should. I'm sure you remember years ago with Shania Twain and her husband, Mutt Lang, when he was having an affair with their friend. Um, Marie Ann, I think her name was, and she was devastated, humiliated, felt absolutely horrified. It had no idea, which makes you feel humiliated because how did you not see this in your head, right? This is what goes on. She was hurt for a long time. She ended up in a relationship with the affair, Marie Ann's husband, Frederick, and they're very happy together now. And they got married three years after this whole thing transpired. And the really difficult part about this is everybody can witness this because they're in the public eye. Same thing going on right now with Ariana and Tom San Sandoval on uh, Vanderpump Rules, a reality TV show. Yes, I know everybody sits there and says, well, that's their problem. They're out there in the open public. Well, Nobody deserves this. It doesn't matter whether you're in the public eye or you're in your own private private home. It's a devastating thing to have to go through. And nobody should be able to get over this quickly and, and have people just say, oh, well, we saw that coming or get over it. Or 
it's not easy to do that because as I said earlier, your heart is broken in two places. You've now trusted two people in your life that have gone and cheated on you for a long or decent amount of time behind your back. This is what's so difficult to get over because you trusted them with your life and now you're dealing with all this crap. How do you move forward? Do you forgive them? Well, personally for myself, I don't, I would never be able to get back with somebody who did this to me because if they can do it once, they can definitely do it again. And if it was a full blown affair and, and they didn't tell you until they got caught, well, that's even worse because they're not even feeling guilty about doing it. So personally for me, I would not be able to forgive the situation. Of course I would be angry. Of course I would be crushed. I'd probably lash out a little bit, but I would have to sit down and say to myself, I have to move to a different area because I cannot allow myself to give them the power of having me angry. Because what happens is they go away and if they're still together, you're sitting here on the curb trying to get over what was done to you, what was thrown in your face. And so, deal with your tears, deal with, deal with your anger, have some close friends that you can count on or family members that you can count on. If you have children and this has happened to you, please take support from people. Please don't try and do everything yourself because it will just take a big toll on you. Ask for help, ask for family support. I can't stress that enough because as much as you want to curl up in a ball and just lie in bed by yourself and, and deal with it emotionally, you might have children and that to deal with. And, and you have to get out of bed. You've got to move. Take some time to get a little bit of counseling. Sit down with somebody that you can trust that is neutral here because you're probably trying to figure out who you can trust now. For those of you who are in this situation, have been tempted to be in this situation, please give your partner some dignity and remove yourself from your relationship with them before you start doing anything like this. Don't allow a triangle situation to happen where it causes your partner to be so distraught because this is, as I said earlier, the worst form of betrayal. And when you lose your best friend and your partner in the same situation, it is triply hard to get over. Some people can forgive their partner for doing something like this, but there's a lot of ifs that go with that because it depends how it was done, how long they were having an affair for, how blatant they were about it, if they brought them into your home, if they did all these things in front of your friends, that is very, very disloyal and that is hard to forgive. If there was something going on where you were not being there for them, you pulled away from them and they, they went to find a nice safe place to fall, maybe, maybe you could forgive them for something like that. But the bottom line here is it's going to be very, very difficult for you to have any trust in them. If you decide that's it, that's it, I'm done, I can't even if they're trying to talk you back in and get them to forgive you, please don't be the one to leave the home. They had the affair, they should leave the home. You've got enough to deal with. A lot of people just get their bag and, and move out when something like this happens, but then it makes it even more complicated because now you've got to find a place to live and you've got all these other things that you've got to figure out. Let them leave for a while until you come to some kind of agreement on what you're going to do with your home, your condo, whatever it is you have together as a couple. Make sure that you have everything removed out of your home that reminds you of them, all the good things that remind you of them because that will keep you stuck. That will keep you holding on to your, your sadness and your pain. Please try to be kind to yourself. Really, this is something that shouldn't ever happen and it's not your fault that it happened. If they didn't confess to you what they were feeling and just kept on behind your back about it, that is very, very disloyal. Unfortunately, life lessons don't always make sense and it can take a long time to figure out what you were supposed to learn here, but I can tell you that you're meant to be on a much better path. 
you wouldn't have to deal with all this pain and hurt if you weren't. There's something better for you down the road. And right now, you're saying, I don't give a shit. I'm so torn and crushed with what happened. I get it. There's nothing worse than having this happen to you with your best friend and your partner. But please know that it will get better. It's going to take maybe a year or two to really get past it. But just keep working on yourself every day and understand it's not your fault. Thank you so much for listening to Dear Cyber Sue today. I know that was a bit of a stressful one today, but it's just happening so much. It's just really, really frustrating to even hear another story like this. So thank you for tuning in to Dear Cyber Sue today. Please leave your comments below. Let me know what happened to you and how you dealt with it if you ended up in a situation similar to this topic today. Thank you, everyone. Take care. Bye-bye.